everyone, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, please let me share my screen. And now, uh, can you see my screen? Okay, can I start? Excuse me, uh, I cannot hear you. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Sepida Eskandalu. I'm a PhD student at Sefka, and I'm uh, doing my PhD with Mohammed. Uh, and today I will uh, show you how I did my reproducible PhD thesis uh, in Manit. And thanks to the Mohammed and organizer to give me this opportunity to share my experience with uh, manage uh, in manage with you. And uh, first of all, I should uh, say that I did all of my uh, PhD in uh, I work on uh, optical images, but it uh, it is a large amount of data and uh, it is really huge and. Um, and it, it is uh, complicated, but manage uh, allow me to uh, do this project very nicely with, without in considering about the big data uh, downloading and anything. Uh, the aim of my uh, thesis uh, is uh, subtracting the point sprint function in the uh, image. In here, you see the point sprint function is subtracted and uh, then after subtracting the uh, point spring function, I will study the outer skirt of the galaxies and low surface brightness science in all the images. And this is a final uh, scatter light of all of these stars uh, after uh, subtracted. But here you see just one of uh, one image uh, which uh, its uh, point spring function is subtracted. Uh, but my project wasn't one image. It was whole the uh, J plus DR tree. In here, you see the whole footprint of the J plus DR tree, and it's covered around a uh, three uh, thousand and two hundred degree uh, a square of the north uh, sky, and uh, uh, each a small uh, a square uh, show uh, show us the each tile of the J plus, uh, and uh, uh, the size of the each tile is. 350 megabyte, but this is a uh, one tile. And each tile at least has three different exposure and each exposure uh, were taken in uh, 12 fil filters. It's uh, for me, it was really a big and large project because I should uh, subtract all the stars uh, from the six, 62,000 uh, uh, images. And it was really big because uh, I wanted to create for each exposure and each, each filter uh, separate PSF. And uh, the size of the, uh, oh, sorry, uh, the size of uh, uh, images uh, is uh, uh, 20 terabytes, but uh, it's not just uh, uh, downloading the images. The process and obtaining the uh, PSF in my project, it was really complicated. And at the end, the uh, whole amount size of the, uh, my project, it was around the many petabytes. And it's gonna be similar to the uh, radio astronomy data. And now uh, I wanna show you uh, how much my uh, project was complicated and how I fixed all of this problem with uh, managed. Uh, uh, I, uh, as I uh, showed you, this is one uh, tile of the uh, uh, J plus, and I want to show you uh, for this, for one exposure and uh, one filter, how I created the PSF. Uh, in here, you see the uh, coma cluster uh, tile. And as I said, each tile at least has three different exposures. And all of these exposures uh, belong to the RSCSS filter. I uh, wanted for each of these uh, exposures, created a different PSF. To uh to know the um, to know the PSF based on the exposure to the exposure is changed or not and due to this I uh, wanna use a, a um, consider the middle part of exposure and I want to create a, use the individual stars of a, a stars in this exposure and create the PSF uh, for creating the outer part of PSF I needed to the other exposure. Due to this, I downloaded the uh, other exposure uh, were uh, taken two and a half hour 
uh, and before the uh, uh, after and before the um, main tile and you see all of this exposure uh, here and then uh, I uh, among the all of these tiles I selected the brightest star uh, that I showed with the uh, red uh, cross then I crop all of these uh, stars and mask the extra object then I stack them together and create the outer part of PSF. Then for uh, creating the middle and center part of PSF, because I had the enough star uh, in this, uh, in the in each exposure, I use the main exposure, and then I uh, select the middle part of stars and uh, crop them again, mask the extra object, and uh, stack them together, and uh, the middle part created. Then for for center part. I use the uh, uh, one uh, hundred of the faintest stars uh, that are shown by the green cross, and then again I crop uh, all of them and stack them together and center part uh, created. Then I uh, stack the different part of a PSF and create the final PSF. In here, I just showed you the uh, the all the process I did for creating just for uh, one PSF for one exposure and one filter. And then after creating it, I subtract all the S, uh, S stars in, um, uh, in the whole images of the J plus. It was really hu huge and it was really complicated. Uh, and at the first, I should say that it was really uh, difficult for me and uh, because it was a big data and uh, in and i've never worked with the uh, uh, big data before my uh, phd and uh, in, during my master i uh, had uh, two or three images and i downloaded them manually uh, at the first i was worried at the first of the my phd i was worried about uh, uh, downloading all of this data because uh, i was uh, thinking how can i go through the database and uh, download uh, downloaded all of the images uh, automatically. Uh, fortunately, uh, Manage allowed me to download all of uh, the images uh, automatically. Then uh, I was worried about the storage of the um, data because the uh, uh, big data is important, but the number of files and how we arrange them, how we uh, storage them is important because I wanted to save the different images that belong to the different filter, to the different directory. And it was really important uh, for me. And when I discussed to, to Mohammed, uh, Mohammed uh, uh, told me it is easy with manage and you can uh, easily do it. And uh, then uh, because I uh, work with the big data, uh, I uh, was worried uh, about the parallelization and fortunately, because manage uh, was written in a uh, make, it allowed me to do the same uh, same work to the uh, different data, and uh, I uh, reached to the final result very faster uh, than um, the other uh, um, code and uh, everything. And uh, yeah, it was uh, uh, my uh, PhD uh, project was big data. And it had a many many problem in a volume, in a value, in a, a variety, veracity, and many things. And I could solve all of them uh, with uh, manage. And at the end, I could uh, I could answer to all of my question about the how downloading, uh, storage, how the process of the old data, and everything. Because uh, I wanted to at the end. Each PSF has a similar name of the uh, exposure, and I could uh, and I did it with manage. And uh, when I face uh, uh, with a bug in a pipeline, uh, it is really easy in manage to find in which step it faced with error uh, because it's really uh, arrangement. And um, at the end. I just want to uh, uh, tell uh, the advantage and, dis and disadvantage of the uh, manage uh, for me. Uh, at, the, uh, at the beginning, it was really difficult for me because I should uh, learn many different uh, programs uh, such as a LaTeX, Git, Make, and Shell. 
uh, I learned a lot from the basic because I uh, the flowchart I showed to you in a previous slide, I put it in my paper and it uh, it's uh, created by LaTeX and uh, managed, uh, allow me to learn it from the basic uh, and it was great for me. And now I know many things about LaTeX because in, during my master, at the end of my project, I uh, started to uh, writing my paper in LaTeX and learn about the LaTeX. And then uh, it was uh, at the beginning, it was really and difficult because I forgot the uh, the mm, input and the output uh, directory and everything. And every day I asked many questions from Mohammed and uh, it was a, a, a it was complex project uh, for me. Uh, but it had uh, many advantages um, uh, for me. As I said, it was like a library and uh, everything has their uh, own uh, place, uh, uh, input, output, configuration file, and uh, other things. And uh, it uh, allowed me to uh, download a huge number of the data uh, automatically. And uh, each, uh, the, each data has their uh, hash uh, as Muhammad um, showed. Uh, uh, Sorry, has, Defide. Okay. We, we cannot hear you. I think we have some problems with the connection. Uh, you are breaking you out a, a bit. I don't know if you can. Can you hear me? Maybe uh, it's the micro. I know. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Just okay. Uh, keep in mind that we are two minutes from. Two okay, minutes. and yeah, and uh, uh, I had a good experience with Manage. I will stop it here. And uh, I really suggest to all of you, if you are uh, doing the huge, uh, you, your project is huge and complicated, uh, such as my project, move to the Manage because uh, it's uh, allowed to, uh, at the same time, write your paper and uh, do your uh, analysis. And it, it is great. I will stop here if you have any question or any uh, comments. Thank you. Thank you, Safida. Thanks a lot. Question, Safida uh, or Mohammed? We are on time. We can spend maybe two, three minutes more on question, or if you want to. Is this, is this what your last slide, Sefide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my last slide. Um, yeah, yeah. Just one question. If I got this right, um, for every project uh, that you create, you are kind of uh, rebuilding the, the environment for, for the data analysis, right? So just thinking uh, in the long term, uh, do you have a vision of this is a problem in, in terms of storage? For example, in the computer, because you were saying like uh, uh, through the through the years you are working on very different projects. Uh, probably you will have different copies of the same project. I'm guessing also. So I don't know because I also I'm asking this because if you uh, go deep into the dependencies, probably the well, yeah, the software the software usually take about uh, the minimum branch of manage after it's built. It takes about three gigabytes. Um, yeah, all the software because we yeah we also many software also include documentation and everything. Um, so yeah, it takes about three gigabytes. But the the good thing is whenever I have storage problems, uh, the last project that you know I ran because but then compared to our data, three gigabytes is really at least our scenario three gigabytes is really negligible. But even when that happens, so with even with the data, so the software environment. And the data, the, the project becomes like 20 gigabytes because like in the case of Sefide, you know, you saw it's, it's uh, almost one terabyte at least at one moment when she's running, even a few tiles. So uh, the answer is that it's reproducible. So you delete it. You delete it um, and you do your other project uh, for the next two months. And whenever you're ready to, um, uh, to go back to your next project, you just reproduce everything again. Uh, say it takes two or three days at most, even if it's really complex, a huge pipeline with many steps, like what Sepida was showing, it takes almost one day uh, on a laptop, for example. Uh, so then, yeah, you, you spend that one day and you recover the, the project at the previous state. 
Um, is there a, any other question? Thank you, Mohamed. Um, very nice. Um, I um, one thing that I kept thinking about is I fully understand the concept of um, reproducibility, and I fully agree with it. It's very nice and it's very important. And I think that there is a lot of sacrifice that has to be done for this. But um, when you look at, for example, um, online tools that are there, and for example, in latex, I'm talking about, for example, um, Overleaf makes it very easy to get things done and collaborating. And that's very, um, if you look at how easy it is to use and not having to worry about, you know, building stuff and, you know, going straight and using it and being able to collaborate with um, a, and other people. So I'm wondering if um, you've thought about some way of integrating your workflow yes, yes. with that, for example, to make it easier. Yes, yes, yes. Because I understand that. Yes, did you know Overleaf uses Git? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so yeah, so you can uh, you can essentially what well, this is what I do in some of my projects. Um, I don't like Overleaf myself. Uh, I like Emacs much better for the environment, but I understand some people like Overleaf. So what we do is that I put a copy of the paper in Overleaf for my collaborators to write as much as they like, and then every once in a while I copy it into you know my own thing and I put it in the history. Uh, and you can even merge the branch from Overleaf and bring it over into your project. So you can even keep the history of your collaborators. Yes, that is possible, yes, yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about something like that. Anyway, yes, um, the other point is, I've maybe I, I'll need some more convincing about, you know, leaving, for example, uh, Matplotlib to PG, uh, PG Plus, because don't get me wrong, the community is Matplotlib so large, yeah. it's so much easier to get to debug stuff, so um, I don't know, maybe there's something that I would need to talk to you about in uh, offline, but it's kind of, I see it very difficult for me to leave Matplotlib, which I've spent a lot of time learning and mm -hmm. adapting to it, to, for example, PGF plots. And yeah, it's just a random thought that, you know, um, I'm not asking you to convince me now. <laughs> First, no, I know, yeah, that's something to, difficult. Yeah. Uh, as, as I said, I mean, for me, I don't use it. But when I, my, my friends who wanted to use Manage, when I saw that they want Matplotlib, we did. We did spend one week. It took us one week, imagine, to get all those dependencies inside Manage. We went one by one. After many crashes, we found out this was because of that dependency. We added that. We added that. We went down that rabbit hole until we reached the end. So now it's there. You don't have to. You don't have to use PGF plots. That was my recommendation for the new people. <laughs> to, but yeah. So if you if you invested time in Matplotlib and you have scripts in Matplotlib, you can use them in Manage. You okay. make the PDF and then you build. You load the PDF into the paper. You don't need to build the the plots inside um, later. It's it's up to you. It's up to you how you use later. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a tremendous project, and I commend the 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 amount of work that you've that you've done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm thinking on the new people that you mentioned. So, some opportunity for the PhD students here to make a question. So, don't be shy. We are five minutes out of time, but maybe we can spend some more time in order to answer your question here. Vector of opportunity. I have a fellow student here. So. <laughs> During the coffee break? Yes. Okay, so I think we can thank again Sefideh and Mohammed for the very nice talks.